Hello and what is up guys, Jack here and today I am going to be showing you a really cool hybrid and possibly the hardest type of hybrids to make on FIFA 14. So what I'm talking about is a team using only African and Asian players whilst of course getting max chemistry on each player. It's pretty hard, um, so just a little bit of info before I start or show you this team. The total cost of this team on the Xbox is roughly about 135,000 coins and the formation I'm going to be using is the 4-2-3-1. Before I get into the stats of this team, don't forget to drop a like and let me know in the comments section below if you had the choice between having Yaya Torre and Ramirez in your CDM position, who would you choose? And also, we just want to say a quick shout out to FIFA Coins today. They sell cheap Ultimate Team coins and you can get a further 10% off any purchases using the discount code EZEKULG. All links will be in the description. So without further ado guys, getting into the squad in goal, we have Sung. Ryong Jung, a Korean goalkeeper from the K-League with pretty average stats to be honest. Um, coming up against goal players with good shooting can be very tough for this guy to handle. Uh, but he is needed in this team for chemistry reasons. Moving up into the first centre-back position on the left side, we have a strong link with Sang Ji Min. A uh, bronze centre-back with 750 coins. As I said, he is bronze with 80 pace, 64 defending and 72 heading. Not as bad as he actually looks, to be honest. He feels a lot better than a bronze, probably more like a silver player, to be honest. Uh, but now moving over to the left back, we have yet again another strong link with Hung Chul or something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, for 1,400 coins, he has 87 pace, 69 defending and 66 heading. And this guy is actually pretty decent in this game. He plays very well in game situations. Uh, but the next player we are going to put in the team is going to be another or the other centre-back who is a Senegal player from League One and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Have a look at that. It's quite hard to pronounce. But he does cost me 850 coins and he's pretty, uh, is, you know, he's okay but he isn't the fastest. Moving over to the right-back position, we have a player called Issa Sissoko. A team and nationality link, of course, with the centre-back getting a max chemistry he only cost me 500 coins and to be honest he isn't worth a lot more because he does lack the pace and pretty much all the other stats like defensive stats heading dribbling you know everything else is pretty bad to be honest uh, but now that's basically the defense sorted out moving into the cdm positions we have on the left side starting on first we have sung huang Kai, I think that's how you pronounce his name. 3,300 coins he cost me. He is normally a centre mid, but for this team, you'll need to move to moving to the CDM position. He has pretty decent stats, although to be honest, he is playing out of position slightly. He would be better in uh, more of a centre mid or a cam position. But um, for chemistry reasons, we've got him here in the CDM position. Moving into the first cam position, we have Yaya Torre for 109,000 coins. Torre for me was pretty decent, although he didn't perform quite as well as I would have liked. I know he, he isn't naturally a CDM, or he is naturally a CDM, but I expect him to do a little bit better. Uh, but I guess instead of using Torre, you could put or play Teote instead uh, for a cheaper alternative. But now guys, moving into the right CDM position, we have another silver CDM called Diame. Just like Kai, he's normally a centre mid, so he will cost him a little bit more just to move him into that position. But he's pretty decent, he stands at 6 foot tall, he's very strong and uh, very balanced on the ball. Uh, moving into the right cam position, we have Sessegnon for 750 coins. He's a very good player with 4 star skill, uh, 84 pace, 81 dribbling as well. The last cam in this team is going to be Kagawa from Man United for 1,200 coins. He has 83 pace, 88 dribbling and 73 shooting. And to be honest, I think Kagawa is possibly the best cam in this team. Uh, so it's just because he's so agile and he seems to get into great positions all the time. Moving into the last player of this team, we have Transfer Traore. As you can see, he cost me 1,800 coins because I've pretty much had him in my club uh, since the day that he was transferred or a few days after. But this guy is a beast standing at 6'7 with over 90 strength. And to be honest, uh, he's not a bad finisher and not a bad dribbler for someone of his size. And, you know, just a very good player, very beastly player, very strong, uh, very tanky. Uh, but that's it, guys. This team has uh, five Asian nationality players and six African players, which makes this team quite unique and also fun to use. And as I said in the video, you can make this team a hell of a lot cheaper by taking out Yaya Torre for someone like Teote. So anyway, guys, I've got some goals for you, for you to watch now. Let me know 
your answer to the question of the day, which is who would you rather have in FIFA 14 as your main CDM, Yaya Torre or Aramarez? And also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We are on our way now to 50,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for hitting 40,000 subscribers yesterday. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Bye.